and thou shall become an astonishment. Our people will become an astonishment. I use the example of how our young men uh, have their pants sagging down. Some, some of our sisters are putting all these different colors in their head, following the heathen, following other people. We're in astonishment. Come on. A proverb, a proverb, a wise saying. Like uh, the brother I was just talking to. You want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. Because they don't read. We're, we're proverbs today. Come on. And a byword. And a byword. A byword is what you just called yourself. You called, you called yourself, uh, what was it? Puerto Rican, Nigerian. Those are... Those are by words, because God called you the children of Israel. You understand? Read on, read on. And a by word among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Now look, now cause, because we got sent everywhere. Where is that map at? Oh, we got to get that other side. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Who? Say what? Listen, listen, sis, I'm, I'm teaching. I don't need I don't need help. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, hey, look. Around, you know hey, check this out. Look at this. Our people, our people were spread all across. You can't go nowhere and not see our people. You understand that? Our people was put in slavery by these people everywhere, Bring it out, all, all over the world, Bring it out, all, all over the world. Right. Ready to get. And thou shall become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword uh -huh. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Among all nations, right? Who put, who, put, who put us in slavery in America? Bring it out, uh. White people, right? Hey, hey, look, we became a proverb among that nation. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go. Hey, look, hey, look, that's the devil, sis. That's the devil. Get, get that for me. Get that for me. Hey, look. I'm going to tell you, whenever the word of God come out, you can, you can best believe that the devil is going to run up trying to interfere. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. This says the sower soweth the word. How you doing? What's your name? Chelsea, what's your name? Huh? Salia? So Chelsea and Salia. I want y'all to understand something. We are sowing the word of God right now. We are sowing the word of God. Watch this. If you were truly a Native American, you are hearken to the word. If you are truly a Native American, you are hearken to the word of God. Watch this. The sower soweth the word. Come on. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan, 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 coming immediately. It says we are sowing the word. And what happens? Satan will come immediately. Y'all are there on the wayside. If you are truly a Native American, you will hearken to the word of God. But you know what it is? Satan cometh immediately when the word is being sown. You, I bet you have never seen her on any other occasion come against anybody else. You want to know when she comes? When the word of God is sown amongst his people. God is trying to call y'all. Is that it or that? Come on. Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Try to, try to change the conversation. The topic of the conversation is who are you according to the Bible? She want to talk about the in incommunicable name. We ain't talking about the name of God. God promised, once you overcome and endure to the end, then will you receive his name. Bring it out. You will not receive his name in his captivity, but what you will receive is your damn nationality. Come on. Verse 15. That was it on verse 15. Proverbs 20 and 24. I'm going to show y'all something. God called her here for a reason, Chelsea and Salia. He called her here for a reason. He didn't want you to know his name, his title. He has many titles. That's the most disrespectful nation on this earth. I'm going to call my father by his real name. No, you're going to call me dad. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Your goings are of God. God sent y'all here at this dispensation of time. He could have sent us to any other state, but he brought us to New Albany, Indiana. The teacher, your... Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville. Where's our reach at? Where you at? <laughs> Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville. All right. He sent us to Jeffersonville. 
and teaching your nationality. Why? Because he knew that y'all was going to be here at this dispensation of time. Your goings are of God. He wanted y'all to wake up and know your nationality. Malachi, don't even deal with her. Come on. A man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Yeah. Now that we understand that God sent y'all here for a reason, understand he sent Satan here for a reason. He was trying to prove to see if you were for him. That's right. Obviously, y'all didn't give two dams about the name. So what is more important? Your nationality. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. Bring it up. We're going to show Jeffersonville, Indiana, something real today. That y'all are God's chosen people. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. God said the children of Israel in the last days, you Chelsea, you Shalia, y'all will be called a byword in the last days. My question to you, what is your nationality? Israelite from what tribe? We're going to help you find out today. Salia, what's your nationality? You don't have to say what she said. Say according to your knowledge. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Say according to your knowledge. What's your nationality? Okay. How about your father? Where are you from? His mom was half Indian. He's from the What's his nationality? Your father. He's out. So, where's my sign at? I want you to come over here. All y'all come over here. We all family. Yay! Well, don't worry. Well, this is scaring my little one. Say it again. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I ain't going to talk lower. Everybody got to hear me. But I will respect that. I want you to look. On the left side, on my right, of course, you have what God calls you today. What God calls you in the Bible. But on the right side, on my left, you have what America or your oppressors have colonized and caused you. So now, look at this. What are, what are you called according to God? According to your fathers. Get that numbers 1 and 18, hold that. According to your father, what are you called? Tribe of what? Tribe of Judah. How about you? I say the tribe of Judah. I mean, they say you always, the father is. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all praise to the Father. Watch this. We're going to read that in the Bible. Is your nationality based off your mother or your father? Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree, their pedigree. They declared their pedigrees, their lineage, their nationality, their culture. After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their mothers. By the house of their fathers. God said your nationality, your pedigree, your culture is determined by the house of your father. That's right. That's according to God. So if your father is a so-called American black, what does God deem you? The tribe of Judah. That's right. The same tribe that Christ came from. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 7. Watch this. What tribe are you from, Jude? Judah! What from the tribe of Judah? What is the importance of being from Judah? Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 7. And this is the blessing of Judah. This is the blessing that God has bestowed upon the tribe of Judah. The people who call themselves American black. Watch this. And he said, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. The voice of Judah. He says, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. Why? Because in the last days, God was sending the tribe of Judah right. to teach his people their nationality. That's right. I don't bet. And bring him unto his people. You're going to see the tribe of Judah go into his people. Chelsea, Salia. Why do you think, I want you to understand something. Why do you think all the major leaders in the 60s were African American black? Teacher, wake them up. Malcolm X. 
Martin Luther King. Huh? They were sent to send a message, but they were all from the tribe of Judah. No matter what voices was, Judah would lead the charge on waking up his people. But God has sent the true prophets in the last days to wake y'all up. Y'all have never heard this gospel nowhere else. And if you have, you've never heard, learned how to, how to apply it. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 28. God said, he will take away, he will call you by a proverb or a byword. A byword is when you're calling yourself anything outside, what, outside of what God called you in the Bible. So when you say your dad was an American black, American black, you're calling yourself a byword. God calls you Judah, the mightiest tribe. I ain't trying to think. I'm not trying to think. Bring out the truth, bro. We ought to. Yeah. Thank, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Hear the spirit. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. When you go, when you go and fill out your job applications, when you go to your, you got white friends? Be a hundred. You got a white friend? You don't? Dang. Thought I had some. Well, I do. It's, you know, I'm, I'm mixed into all okay. things. You know, do they call? Family. Okay, your whole family. I got, we, we got mixtures in our family, but it's still determined by your father. Question, does any of your other nations, do they call you by the name of Judah? Do they call you the nation of Israel? Why? Because it says, among all nations will he change your nationality. You will not be called Judah amongst uh, nobody on this earth. He will take away your heritage. What you got for me? Yes. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. He said you will need leave your name for a curse. Our people have left the name of Judah. They have left the name of Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh for a curse. Your name is accursed. African American is from two so-called white men. From two so-called white men. What does that mean? Your nationality has been taken. Your, your nationality can only be taken when you are not a people. When you are cursed by God. Y'all understand so far? Proof in the pudding. Verse 48, right quick. Is that was that on 65? Go ahead. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. He will get us killed by our oppressors and they will call us by another name. Now, what's your last name? David. David. Say again. Davy. Davy. How about you? Douglas. Douglas. Where in the hell is Davy and Douglas in the Bible? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. Because God, he has not called you by that name. He will have you killed by your oppressors and they will call you by other names. Names of the lands they conquered. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse. No, continue. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Question. I'm going to start with you. When you want water, food, and clothing, who do you have to get it from? Who runs the government? I'm going to say the elite. No, the elite. What's their name? The what? The white, the white folk. The same people that intermingled in your family, soul tears. Them people right there, those people run everything. Water, food, clothing. If you want anything, you got a social security card. You want a job? Who you have to get that from? Bring it out. Don't say the elites. Name their nationality, huh? The what? The Edomites. Let's make it, let's put it in layman terms for our people. The white people. The YT people. They run everything. If you want anything, the shoes on your feet, you gotta get it from another nation. Your kids gonna eat today. Where you think you get their food from? You already know. But God said that was only going to befall one people. The people that didn't obey his word, so he was going to send them to serve their enemies. What is God saying? If, you, if your people don't run everything that you need, they're your enemies. 
you're getting it from your enemies. Whether it be white, East Indian, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, uh, Arabs, Israelis, any nation on this earth, you're going to have to get it from people that, that are not your people. Why is that? Because we are cursed because we didn't keep the commandments of God. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.